Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. Right now, we are currently in the state of Oklahoma. We're in Oklahoma City. We're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Crown Heights, Edgemere Heights. We're at the intersection of 36 and Walker Ave. Across the street on my left-hand side, the egg-shaped structure is the first Christian church. We're going to make this left-hand turn on Walker Ave. There was a sign on my left-hand side that introduced you to the neighborhood, Crown Heights. We're going to enter the Crown Heights neighborhood right now on my left-hand side. We're at the intersection of Walker Ave and 36 Terrace. 500 block of 36 Terrace, 3700 block of Walker Ave. We can, let's go straight. Let's, let's go over here. All right, we're in a residential neighborhood. We have homes on my left-hand side, homes on my right-hand side. I see lawns. I see no sidewalks. Homes have stone siding for the finish. I see several homes with a stone, a large stone siding. I see some with brick siding. We have a basketball court on my right-hand side. We got a two-story building on my right-hand side with some shutters for display purposes. They have a lowered Discovery. What's that, a Range Rover, a Land Rover? There's a Land Rover in their driveway. I see a stairway going up to someone's house. They have two car garages, one car garage. I see a bunch of flower pots. Nobody seems to have any fencing surrounding the front of their property. On my right-hand side, the homes seem more level to street level. On my left-hand side, the homes are raised somewhat, so much so that there's a little stair way that goes up to the front of the property. Florida tags on my right hand side. We're at Lee Ave. We're going to make this right hand turn. We're at 36 Terrace and Lee Ave. We're going to turn right. We're going to turn right over here on Lee Ave. Check out the homes on my left-hand side. They have a staircase that goes forward and then it turns right, it goes up. Past a nice Jeep Wrangler, we're at 37th and Lee. There's a playground back there in the grassy area to our left. We're on the 600 block of Northwest 37th Street. We have homes with balconies on the second floor on our left. Homes on our right with balconies on the second floor. I see little awnings that cover what would be a porch. There's a porch on my left-hand side. We have vinyl siding coming up on my right-hand side. First floor has those large stones that I was mentioning earlier. We have a mother and her child on my left-hand side at the front of their property. We're going to slow down for this pothole that's right here. We have another vinyl side of house on my left hand side, a gray and black house. Now we have a white and black house. The houses on my left hand side are painted. The ones on my right hand side are bricks. Notice that. Notice the difference. We have a little Nissan on my left hand side, a little stock Nissan lowered, convertible, 350Z. Remember we made a right, we went down there? Well, we didn't make a right. At that time, it was a left, but we're coming back out to Walker Ave. We're gonna make a left-hand turn here. We got Crown Heights Park around the corner on my left-hand side. So we're gonna make this left-hand turn. Crown Heights Historic Preservation, 1930. We make this left-hand turn on Walker Ave. So this is one of the most sought after neighborhoods in the Oklahoma City area. We got Crown Heights Park on my left-hand side. It's a very, very large park. Disciples First Church on our right-hand side. We're going to make this left-hand turn onto Northwest 38th Street. We have two females about to cross with a stroller. Are they crossing or are they walking around the park? We're going to slow down here. It looks like they're walking the park. So we're going to turn left on 38th Street. We have a nice, huge brick house on my right-hand side. 
Really beautiful choice of finishing. The materials. They incorporate the large stones too. There was a cat, a black cat right out front of the property. And there's a dog in the window barking. So on my left hand side is Crown Heights Park. On my right hand side is the homes. They have bigger lawns than the last block we were on. The last block we were on, the lawns were like 17 to 20 feet. These lawns right here are more like 30 feet, 30 to 35 feet, give or take. There's a walking path on my left-hand side around the park with benches. We got the nice poles that have the street light on them. Most of these houses have shutters. They're not functional. They don't appear to be. We got an older woman right there standing in front of her property. A beautiful red brick home on my right with the white columns that were holding up the awning. Let me see if I can point to the park a little bit so you guys can see how big this park is. This is a very big park. So these homes on my right have access to that park. It's pretty much like an extension to their to their front yard. We got a playground on my left-hand side with swings and all of that. There's a sign that read pet owners must be uh, responsible for the pickup of the doo-doo. And to keep your pets on a leash. And there's a park rules list on my left. Park's open from 5 a.m. to I believe 11 p.m. There's a gorgeous house on my right hand side. We're at Chartel Ave. I'm gonna continue traveling forward. We're crossing Chartel Ave, 38th and Chartel. Now we're right here next to the uptown Oklahoma City, 38th street preservation neighborhood but this is still within the vicinity of Edgemere Park and Crown Heights we got some landscapers on my right hand side on my right hand side we have a beautiful gray slash ash blue home with black shutters with a second story white porch we got a staircase that goes up on my right hand side with some nice flower pots in front of their property. Back garage, side driveway. Again, the houses on my right hand side have little staircases. Not all of them, but most of them. The ones on my left hand side, they're more street level. They're street level, they're flatter. So they're evenly laid out. You know, the actual lawn. The ones on my right look like a little like a little hill you gotta climb up. You got a sprinkler on somebody's sprinklers watering their property, keeping their grass moist and luxurious we have some more of those large stones incorporated on my right hand side at the address 1939 they have an outdoor swing too on the tree see the swing texas tags on my right hand side we're not far from texas oklahoma city is i believe two to three hours away from texas depending on which county you go to. All right, we're going to make a right, and we're going to go back to the Crown Heights, Edgemere part of the town. We're at 38 from Western. We got a fit gentleman about to run by. He just gave us the wave. We're going to make this right-hand turn at Western Ave. A nice... Jeep Wrangler just drove by us. We got Thomas and Thompson interior design on our left. We're on the historic Route 66. I want to make this right-hand turn. You see Crown Heights Christian Church on our left-hand side, Disciples of Christ. And look at that little trailer. That's a cute little trailer. That's awesome to go camping with. Man, next time around, I'm going to get something that tiny. That is dope. Nice, small, easy to manage. I could have pulled that with my CRV. The houses that I like a lot are the ones with the uh, second floor porches or the ones with the big beams, the big pillars that hold up the front awning. We have a, a Nissan Titan backing out of the driveway into somebody else's driveway. Thank you very much, sir. Brick homes on our left, a stucco house on our right with some 
stone accent. We just passed an older model Toyota SUV. I believe it was the old, what was it, a 4Runner? Mini Cooper on my right-hand side in the driveway. These houses are pretty large. They're closely placed next to each other. The separation between houses, I would say 12 feet. Maybe a 12 feet separation from property to property. Some of them have side driveways that go to a rear garage. Look at the design on this property right here. I like that front A top. You see that A looks like a pyramid. I like that. I like that, that structure. I like that design. Look at this house on my right. They got a Discovery. They got a G-Wagon, Mercedes-Benz, and they got a Mini Cooper. What's that? The his, the hers, and the daughter's vehicle? Or the son's vehicle, maybe? Wow, check out this nice, classic, what's this, a Jeep on my right-hand side? Look at the first-generation CRV on my left-hand side. Look at this Grand Cherokee. This is a nice, classic Jeep. Wow, those things are worth money. Believe it or not, those things are worth money. Four-wheel drive, Grand Cherokee. Look, look at that front grille. So you guys who are watching on the virtual tour, you guys can't see the front grill, but make note that we are documenting behind the scene clips for the Tune B Chillin' YouTube channel. Subscribe to Tune B Chillin', T-O-O-N-B-E-C-H-I-L-L-I-N. We're at 39th and Chartel. We got a gentleman on my left walking his dog. Look how green the grass is on my right. Is it me or is it like spray painted green? It looks ultraviolet green. Look at the dog on my left with his owner. Beautiful dog staring us down. The dog's doing his job. And it, and it was staring down the car because it didn't know if the car, you know, had any bad intentions. So it was protecting its owner. We got a vehicle on my right-hand side. It looks like they're either loading or unloading something from their trunk. We got a nice green, like an olive green Jeep on our right. Now, look on my left. You see the big pillars that I was talking about? And that one got a, it looks like a patio up top. I don't know if they ever use it because it doesn't look like there's any entrance to get up to that patio that's up top of those pillars. But look up there on my left. You see them big pillars? That looks nice. See the red bricks with the white pillars? Look at this little car on my right. Is this a Volkswagen? Yo, punch buggy, no punch back. Convertible. Classic Beetle, baby. I got to snap a picture of this for the Tune B Chilling Instagram account. Look at that. Wow. Hold on. I got to pull away so I can get a nice picture of it. Ha, 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 ha. That thing is kind of dope. Convertible. Wow. That is nice. Take another one. Wow. That was cool. They, they did some uh, hipster artwork on it. Some colorful. Looks like, like acrylic paints or something. It didn't really have a nice clear coat finish, but it was the thought that counts. These houses are nice. It's a nice little community here. It looks clean. I don't really see any debris on the ground other than stuff that falls from the trees. It's a nice little area. We're at 39th and Walker Ave. No street through traffic in front of us. So let's go through that because that's in the area. That means it's probably a dead end, but we can make a U-turn. Yep. Pretty much areas like this, they all have that same look. Even though each house looks slightly different, you pretty much get the synopsis. You get the point of the neighborhood. I know the camera doesn't do justice, but you're more than welcome to play the video back and then slow down the video speed and lower the volume so you don't gotta hear my voice and you can watch the neighborhood in slow motion. Look at that classic right there on my right-hand side. Wow, what a gem. Silver, you see it? Right in front of the truck. That was a gem. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, we just reached our 15-minute mark. 
And I don't know if you guys noticed, in some of these higher end neighborhoods, I reserve a good 15 minutes of driving time for the neighborhood. I try to give the neighborhood its 15 minutes of fame, per se, you know? They're nice neighborhoods, but no matter how much driving you do in the area, for the most part, everything looks uniform. We got a uh, family over here on my right-hand side playing in front of the house. The child was on the swing. The kids are in the yard. The father's in the trunk of his vehicle. We're at 40th and Harvey Parkway. And that's going to conclude our short tour of the Crown Heights neighborhood. We did not cover the whole entire Crown Heights area, nor did we cover the entire Oklahoma City. Make note that Oklahoma City is the capital of the state. So the capital is not far from here. But yeah, guys, this is going to conclude the tour. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about this neighborhood? First impressions. What do you think? Would you live here? Would you not want to live here? Why? Why not? Did any house stand out to you most? Please consider subscribing. Turn on the notification bell. Show some love. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Smash that thumbs up button. This is your homeboy, Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars. Tune 215, your unofficial Tune. Tune. <laughs> I was going to say your unofficial Tune guy. Your unofficial tour guide, Tune B, chilling, and I'm tuning out.